is Neil I'm gonna give a quick explanation I get the question of why did you quit making Excaliburs for a while what was the Excalibur legend and uh, a couple other things I'm gonna answer them here right quick I quit making my regular Excaliburs about a year ago because I'd been working on for quite a while what I was gonna call the Excalibur legend it was gonna be pretty much a cross between the the saw and the trailer which is way over here the saw there with the exhaust pipes that's the actual that's the, the real actual saw not a replica there's going to be a cross between that and of course there on the left of it is my regular Excaliburs it was going to be fully chromed fully polished it just didn't work out after spending a ton of money more money than I want to admit on equipment tools more equipment more materials it just I couldn't get a consistent result this is the my test saw and this isn't my only time doing it here's some other pieces that I was working on it just you know I was not getting the results that I wanted and I'll give you an example here these top covers they actually haven't been clear coated that's just the straight chrome it's really yellow you can't hardly tell in this video but it's really yellow this bottom part had been chromed and I clear coated it what happens when you chrome it it comes out looking like chrome and look like this skull here turns out really good this skull up here turned out pretty good there's little pits here and there but it looks good and you clear coat it you have to tint the clear okay if you do not tint the clear with some purple um, like a candy coat just a few drops of it it'll turn yellow okay this is a piece that was just clear coated with straight clear coat see how yellow that turned out gold that's not what I wanted I wanted chrome the problem with this is I got a little too much pigment or the candy in my clear coat and it turned it it's a rose kind of pink again I don't know if you can tell another problem see these bubbles that's happening all over the saw this was perfectly smooth I spent a lot of time smoothing these I've done a lot of body work the reason why I wanted to do this process it was going to be more kind of up my alley um, I've done a lot of body work I'm trained in body work a lot of paint custom paint things like that you see more uh, bubbling up right there under under that's underneath the, the primer and everything but anyway it's going to save me a little bit of hassle on all the polishing because my Excaliburs all of this this is not painted all of this these pieces here that's aluminum what I did is strip all the paint off uh, and polish it out sand it polish it out it takes a lot of time to do it so this was going to kind of save some time but like I said it just didn't work out I was going to fully polish all the brass the replica or the the, the saws from the film these weren't polished the brass pieces they were pretty much just raw brass now on my Excaliburs I do polish them to to an extent I don't fully polish them out to full mirror but like I said it's a shame it didn't work out but it's kind of it's taught me a lot of things here's a here's actually the side cover I did a quick video on that in the sunshine show on that what happened was the clear coat started just peeling off and which pulled off the chrome this was fully chrome I haven't done anything to this except for hold this up with my air compressor with a blow gun and it just blew the chrome right off can't have that I mean someone's paying the money they are for one of these saws the first time you go to clean it or something you don't want the chrome to just fall off so that's why I'm going back to the, my old way this is this will be completely stripped this will be completely polished out here's another chrome piece that turned out okay clear coated but as you can see there's some spots a little foggy haze to it it's just I wasn't happy and it's something that I couldn't do consistently and feel confident in offering so now I'm going back to my old way actually better than my old way 
Here is the saw I'm working on right now. As you can see, I've completely stripped it down. I'm going to pull the paint off of this and polish it com completely tore down like this. Same with the top part. That's all. This is actually a painted piece. This is going to be painted off of the saw. I used to kind of do it together because I was scared to tear them down. I'm not scared anymore. So uh, my next saw is coming out. I got two of them that I'm working on now. Are going to be the best yet. And I still consider them an Excalibur legend because it's a step up from what I was doing. And um, it's actually a couple steps up from uh, the original saws, how they were made. So there you have it. Have a good one.